We are 11 days from Summer Camp 2020. Uh, but obviously, it does not take uh, very long to see that there is a whole lot happening in our state at the moment. And we're actually going to be relocating Summer Camp from where it was to be in Sydney. I remember getting on the phone and calling all our youth pastors and saying, hey, we need to have a meeting ASAP. We made the difficult decision to change all of our plans. Our Hills campus is where we do church every week. We decided let's transform it. Let's just make it a really cool space for young people. All right, so you guys seeing my screen? Yeah, I, I think this is looking like really iconic and it will look amazing to film. So we were like, okay, well if we can't do summer camp in a tent, let's bring a tent to our main um, auditorium. I feel like when God changes direction, it actually brings out the best in us. Yeah, I had to go, okay, God's still going to meet us even though the plans have changed. It was really uncertain times, but you know, we had a job to do and we just kept pushing on. I don't think I've ever been so relieved. I don't want to deal with spiders, alligators, snakes, everything that English people think exists in Australia. Going to any album recording, we do a lot of rehearsal. When we switched it to Sydney, it gave us time to work on the songs. To be honest, I think it was like more of a win to stay. I was just like, the songs are going to make it in time. Thank you so much uh, for everything that you've done for every single one of us and Lord, I thank you for what this time represents Lord God. What is going on right now is going to be so many people encountering who you are Lord God. I thank you that the fruit is going to be salvation, that lives yes. for eternity are going to be transformed Lord God because of what you are doing in our midst and we are so grateful that we get to be a part of it. In Jesus name, Amen. 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 Five, four, From the top. Three, three, two, four. <laughs> Summer Camps 2020, day one. So the first night of Summer Camp was wild. It was completely different, but I think that only energized our young people. The best thing about camp is no one cares about what they look like. Everyone's just there to go crazy. It was unreal, like seeing people swing from one side of the building to the other side. So I was like, okay, the young people look like they are into this. Didn't feel like it skipped a beat. Um, the passion and praise and worship um, was Incredible. I have never seen our young people go more wild than they did at this summer camp. We got more happening tonight. We are not done yet this evening. We have the Den recording dance party. We had this idea to record in the Den. It's where we have youth every single week. Definitely a place that represents our youth ministry. We decided to record a bunch of the songs there. The whole concept of it was just to be Raw. Uh, there's not enough people out there, but they'll, I think they'll come. Yeah. You think people are going to come? I really hope so. <laughs> we finished our night rally and then it was kind of like, all right, everyone, we're going over to the den. I walk into the den and I'm kind of like, that's interesting. No one's here. No one comes to the den. Kids were distracted. They were on the Ferris wheel. They were eating from the food trucks. Like they were anywhere but in the den. Everyone is freaking out. All of our team were like just completely frozen. All I know is that everyone needs to get to the den. Togsy gets on stage. I grab the mic off, I don't even know who. I don't know what came over me. Listen, listen, listen. This is what I need you guys to do. I need you to get on your phones right now. Get on your phones. And I just start yelling in the mic, get to the den! Get to the den! So we have Togsy up on stage, starting a chant to get everyone back into the room. The drummer behind me drops a beat. The whole room by then is going, get to the den! Get to the den! 
By this time, people are pouring in. Young and Free gets up, and what happens in that room after that was amazing. It actually turned out to be so, so fun. We get to the last night of summer camp. We pray for the night. This is the moment that all this prep has been working towards. We're about to make history tonight. Tonight is more than just an album recording. We're capturing the heart of a generation, a revival generation. There's always so many things that you're thinking about. It's so easy to get lost in the chaos of what is a record. You know, we don't want it to be forced, we don't want it to be manufactured. What God blesses is when we're just ourselves and when we just are doing what we're called to do. It's been a revival, but God, I just ask tonight that we would encounter the presence of the living God. Everybody has just come so expectant that they're going to meet with God. Stepped onto the platform and remembered why we sing, why we worship. And as soon as the guys come on and that first drum beat hits, the place lets loose. There is so much energy in the room. That entire night was pretty much like waves on waves because people weren't learning the songs, they were singing it from what they already knew in their hearts. It was the most faith-filled, crazy atmosphere that I've ever been in in my life. This record definitely felt like there was a connection and a bond between all of us that felt God-ordained. When I think about people who spent hours making the stage, spent months planning what the room was gonna look like, the guys who recorded the sound, the youth leaders and pastors that got people there. There was this sense of purpose amongst all of us that we were doing something that was significant. That night felt like, hey, we're just in this room with all of our best friends. Honestly, I'm, I'm more excited than ever for Young and Free. I'm so excited for the part that we get to play in the world and that we get to offer a collection of songs that are for now.